Hi students, welcome back. Today we are going to learn the second module of our chapter Trial of the Green Blazer in our Literature Reader written by R.K. Narayan. At the end of the class you will be able to read and comprehend the story. Read the story from point of view of the mind and life of a thief to discuss the moral implication of stealing. So in the last class we begin our story The Trial of Green Blazer written by R.K. Narayan. Let's see what happens in the story. Raju is a professional pickpocket. He is not a mindless criminal, but a human being. One moment doing something wrong for profit and the next day trying to do something good. Follow Raju in his attempt to make a living. The three main characters of this story is Raju, the pickpocketer, the man with the green blazer, his wife. In the first paragraph, we can see two people are introduced here. Raju and the man wearing a green blazer. Raju is watching the man's movement because Raju has a specific purpose in watching the man. Raju is sitting on a pile of banana stems and he is watching that man for a purpose. The man who is standing in a busy crowd. Raju the pig Pocketer was sitting on a banana stem in a crowded place looking out for someone whose pocket he could pick. And he saw a man with a green blazer. He caught his attention and Raju now focused on him. As a pickpocket, he had to watch his prey clearly. He was not always successful. There were times when he count himself lucky, if he could withdraw his hand from a pocket without being caught. He was happy if he could steal a bulging purse with money enough to take slates, book and sweet for his children and a blouse piece for his wife. When he did get too much money, he had to hide it in an envelope or among the roof tiles. Or else his wife got upset, suspecting that he had gone back to being a pickpocket. She wanted to believe that the money he bought home was through honest labor. Uh, deciding to pick the pocket of the man in the green blazer, Raju followed him at a safe distance but close enough to hear his wife, voice while argue, arguing with a coconut vendor about the price of a coconut. Let's see what's happened next. Page number 22, second paragraph. The green blazer moved after all. He stopped before a stall, flying colored balloons. He bought a balloon after an argument with the shopman. He said, this is for a motherless boy. I have promised it to him. If it burst or get lost before I go home, he will cry all night and I wouldn't like it all. Raju got his chance when the green blazer passed through a narrow style where people were passing for at a time in order to see a wax model of Mahatma Gandhi reading a newspaper. In this paragraph, 
we can see that the man is soft hearted he had heard him say he could not bear to see his motherless child cry when he stopped to buy a balloon for his son raju picked the pocket of the man with the green blazer when he passed through a crowded stall 15 minutes later raju was examining the content of the purse he went away to a quiet spot behind a disused well the purse contained 30 rupees in cash and a few anna in nickel raju tucked the anna at his waist must give them to some beggars he reflected generously the 30 rupees he bundled into a knot at the end of his turban and wrapped this again round his head it would see him through the rest of the month he could lead a clean life for at least a fortnight and take his wife and children to a picture after 15 minutes we can see that raju picked the pocket of the man and now he is checking the purse he was happy to find 30 rupees and some small changes it was enough to keep him from picking a pocket for another fortnight he decided to give the change to beggars and take his family to a movie now it was only left for him to fling the purse into the well but he found a balloon folded and tucked away inside the purse oh this he bought he remembered the green blazer's talk about the motherless child what a fool to keep this in the purse raju reflected it is the carelessness of a parent that makes young one suffer he said angrily for a moment he paused over a picture of the growing father returning home and the motherless one waiting at the door for the promised balloon and this growling man feeling for his purse and oh it was too painful after taking all the money and before before throwing away the purse raju noticed that the balloon the man bought from that street vendor was stuck inside that purse raju cannot bear to imagine the child disappointment when his father returned home without the balloon Raju almost sobbed at the thought of the disappointed child the motherless boy there was no one to comfort him perhaps this ruffian would beat him if he cried too long the green blazer did not look like one who knew the language of children that motherless boy must have his balloon at any cost raju decided the thing to do was to put it back into the empty purse and slip it into the green blazer's pocket while raju was thinking about the disappointment of the child uh, he planned to put the purse back into the green blazer man's pocket raju went back to the blazer and sidled up to the green blazer the purse with the balloon only tucked it into was in his palm he had slipped it back into the other's pocket raju realized his mistake in a moment the green blazer caught hold of his arm and cried pickpocket 
the crowd turned to look at raju he cried let me go the green blazer shout out his arm and hit him on the cheek it almost blinded him for a fraction of a second raju lost his awareness of where and even who he was we can see that raju could not bear to imagine the child's disappointment when uh, his father returned home without the balloon so raju decided to put uh, the purse back into that green blazer man's pocket has soon has soon uh, has he slipped his hand into the pocket the man with the green blazer shouted that his pocket was picked and began to beat raju even for a fraction of second raju was out of his mind and he couldn't uh, remember even who he was when the dark mist lifted and he was able to regain his vision the first figure he noticed was the green blazer his arms were raised ready to strike again raju crowded at the side he said i i was trying to put back your purse the crowd roared with laughter even before the magistrate raju kept saying i was only trying to put back the purse and everyone laughed it became a joke in the public world raju's wife came to see him in jail and said you have bought shame on us and wept raju replied angrily why i was only trying to put it back he served his term of 18 month and came back into the world not quite sure what to do with himself when raju regained his conscious and his vision he started to say that he was not trying to pick pocket but uh, he was to trying to give it back but when the people heard this people laughed uh, when raju protested that he was putting the purse back in the pocket even the magistrate did not believe him and his wife who came to meet him in the jail said he had brought disgrace to their family even when he maintained that he had only tried to put the purse back in the pocket he became a joke among the police raju served a sentence for 18 month here the story came to an end where raju was not sure what to do with himself this is an interesting story written by r k narayan so students we have completed our chapter now let's revisit to some questions which we have come across today describe the character of the green blazer man what did raju find in the purse what did he plan to do with the money how do we know raju was happy with his find why did raju not filing the purse into the well has planned why did the crowd laughed at him if you are able to answer give answer for all this question that means you have comprehended the story but don't feel bad if you cannot answer the question read the lesson once again i'm sure you will be able to answer this so students hope you all understand today's class thank you for listening have a nice day